Welcome back. Great game between Dickinson and Dennis. And Eric, your team in the third quarter brought everything but the kitchen sink virtually, as you would expect from your team in that situation. To, how demoralizing is, is it when your kids make the right plays and you see a goalie just step up and really slam the door the way Scarborough did? Yeah, I mean, credit to him. You know, I mean, he made plays, right? I think we were getting the looks we wanted. Uh, our, our guys played really, really hard. And at the end of the day, you know, um, you know, sometimes just you run into a good goalie and, and, and they do a great job. Um, so, you know, hats off to him. But, but, you know, to me, it's the fact that we didn't give up, that we played hard, right? It's not always going to bounce our way, um, you know, but, but again, uh, you know, to have that resilience, to be able to keep pushing is, is really important. And, you know, no moral victories, but really proud of my guys' efforts. I was going to say, is the message now to say, look, I mean, play two great foes. We did a lot of good things this weekend. Is that what you try to emphasize now here uh, in the weeks ahead? Absolutely. You know, I think we even wind the clock back to uh, last Sunday, our one goal loss to Stevenson. You know, spring break certainly didn't go the way we wanted in terms of wins and losses, but, but we got better. Um, you know, we could have played cleaner tonight. Um, I think it took us a little while to get going. And, and so that's a big lesson. But, you know, uh, I told the guys in the locker room, the message is this. All of our goals are ahead of us. You know, we start uh, conference play a, a week from now. And so, you know, the key is, is to, you know, let this burn a little bit, but show up on Monday ready to go so, so that we're, we're ready come Wednesday. You know, and we start a, a stretch of our season where we're going two games a week so there's absolutely no time to feel sorry for ourselves so davis and your face off unit really uh solid weekend uh, what did you think was it was the key to their quality this weekend um you know credit to, to coach bartlett in the way that she she's developed um the cohesiveness with that unit you know davis is an incredible face off man himself but we've got the likes of, of sean bailey andrew brim will filio out there owen o'neill you know is an incredible young lsm he's picking up a lot of a key ground balls so so really impressed um with how they came together you know Davis is winning something himself. He's using his wings. We're going back to our goalies, right? So, so, so watching the growth and development there, you know, was was a was a great thing to see over the course of this weekend. Thoughts on coming to an event like this where you can get two great games uh, in one trip, which is so critical for any Division three program. Absolutely. I mean, it's an incredible experience. You know, um, Coach Canabene does a does a fantastic job here. You know. Um, the facilities crew were great, you know, just, just very hospitable all week long. And, and nothing can prepare you for, you know, a, a hopeful birth in the NCAA tournament like something like this. You know, getting ready and playing two great teams back to back. You know, at the end of the day, you know, 0 2 is, again, not what we wanted, but, but we definitely are better for this experience. Appreciate the time. Best of luck the rest of the year. Thank you.